The Blues have an 8-3 road record in the 2019 playoffs and were only 5-5 five five at home entering tonight. With the series even and one at St. Louis hosting Boston in its first Stanley Cup final home game in 49 years. It was a packed house both outside and inside. The Blues fans were fired up for this game. It was scoreless for the first 10 minutes or so. But here come the Bruins on the power play. Tori Krug with a slap shot for the opening goal. A tough night for Jordan Bennington. 2-0 Boston now less than 10 seconds to go in the first period and another slap shot going five hole through Bennington's legs. Boston up 3-0 they'd go up 4-0 but the Blues finally get on the board. Barbashev beats the goalie right here but Boston scores four goals on the power play. The Blues lose 7-2 and trail 2-1 in the series. Game four from St. Louis is Monday night. A busy night of sports in St. Louis, less than a mile away, the Cardinals hosting the Cubs in one of baseball's best rivalries. The Cards won a thriller 2-1 on in extra innings last night and looking to start June with a win after a tough month of May. This game's airing on Fox, so can't show the highlights until it's over and it'll be a while until that's the case. They're in a rain delay in the fifth inning and have been for more than two hours. The Cubs got solo homers from Anthony Rizzo and former Cardinal Jason Hayward. Meanwhile, Paul Goldschmidt has a home run for the Cards and Marcel Ozuna delivered an RBI single. This game is tied at two in the fifth inning. The Royals taking on the Rangers in Texas. Kansas City lost 6-2 yesterday. Top third, here's the play of the day for Kansas City. Adoberto Mondesi with a great diving stop right here and a good throw to first to get the out. Mondesi's had a really solid year this year. Homer Bailey has struggled on the mound though in the fourth. Joey Gallo who hit a grand slam last night and here's another moonshot. Gone for a two run homer. Later in the inning Shin Chu Chu would line the ball past the diving first baseman. Another run comes in and that made it 4-0 Rangers. Chu would be in at second with a double. Bailey's day would be done. He allows four runs in just three and two thirds innings. A really tough outing and this look says it all. It took a while but the Royals offense finally gets going in the fifth. Martin Maldonado lines the ball to left. It would one hop the wall. Jorge Soler easily scores. The Royals are finally on the board. By the way, Lance Lynn, the former Cardinal, pitching for the Rangers in this one. He had a quality start, but in the seventh, the Royals get to him. This time, it's Cam Gallagher going the other way for an RBI double, but it wasn't enough. The Royals lose 6-2. Former Mizzou Tiger Kyle Gibson has pitched great of late for the Twins. He had a 2.95 ERA over his last seven starts as he took on the race. A great start for Gibson. Look at this movement. A nasty slider for the first inning strikeout. A frustrating afternoon for the Ray hitters. Later in the inning, Gibson with another slider and the batter goes around right here. A 1-2-3 first inning for Gibson. More of the same in the second. Here's another strikeout. This time Gibson brings the heat. He allowed just one run in five innings. Minnesota got him some run support too. With two home runs, the Twins take it 6-2. They still have the best record in the MLB as Gibson gets the win. His ERA down to 3.75 as he's six and two on the season. From the majors to Mink League Baseball, many local college players are part of the Jefferson City Renegades Summer League team. Tonight, the Renegades hosting Clorinda in the home opener. A special first pitch thrown out by our own Zach Paul. Not bad, Zach. A little high, but clearly he has the arm strength to get it to the plate. I'm certainly impressed. And look, Zach always knows where the camera is. Hey, Zach, how's it going? Yeah, that was pretty funny. This was a high scoring game, a truly wild one in the first one. One run already in for the Renegades. An RBI ground out by Central Methodist Logan Herring. Jordan Smith from William Woods and Rockridge scores. Renegades up 2-1 after one inning. More scoring in the second. Lincoln Oriana with a towering fly ball to left. He would eventually get down for a double and another familiar face scores. Peyton Leeper from South Callaway there. And here's Jordan Smith, the former Rockridge Bruin at the plate again. He flies it out the right. The catch is made. Runner from third tags and Ethan Rackers from Westminster beats the throw at the plate. Still second inning. Trent Post rips a shot to center right here. Driving in another run. This game was truly nuts. A four run second gives Jeff City the 6-3 lead. Third inning was more of the same. Ethan Rackers would deliver an RBI single going the other way. Peyton Leeper scores again. Seems like they were hitting every inning. Former Rockbridge Bruin Jordan Smith would add an RBI single. Because of weather, they stopped the game. The Renegades leading 11-8 in the sixth. They'll resume tomorrow at 1 p.m. and play a second game after that.
Finishing with soccer in the summer start of the Show Me State Games, 115 teams came together from all over the state to play in the 3v3 Soccer Fest at Rockbridge High School. Kids from 8 to 19 are competing in the two-day event. Some fun team names out there like the Mahomes, a girls team from Jefferson City, and just like Patrick Mahomes, the Mahomes were quite good. It's been a day filled with fun and games. Yeah, that's one of the great things about the Show Me State Games. We've got U6 all the way up to adult division. Our mission of promoting health and fitness for all Missourians. And uh, this event, our Soccer Fest, really achieves that. And we've got all ages, uh, boys and girls, men and women. It's just a really exciting time for us. The Show Me State Games will continue June 7th through the 9th and July 19th through the 21st. And finally, July 28th through the 28th with more than 40 sports for all ages and skill levels. Awesome stuff. Good weather for that, for sure. Yes.